Welcome back to a brand new video on Ace Force 2. Today, we're diving into the best weapons in this game. First up, we have the G17. If you aim for the head, it takes just two shots to take down an enemy, but you need to be very accurate. For body shots, it will take six shots if you don't miss. So that's how the G17 performs. Next, let's look at the TZ-34. This is like a, it's like a shotgun. If you are close to the enemy, one bullet will take them down. If you're at medium range, it will take two shots. At longer ranges, you might need three to four shots or even five to six, depending on the distance. It's best used in super close range combat. Moving on, we have the V61. It's great for close quarters combat. It takes two shots to the head or four to the body to take down an enemy. Use this weapon when your primary is reloading or when you need a quick switch. It's perfect for fast paced players. Next is the M983. This weapon is fantastic for headshots, taking down enemies with just one shot. For body shots, it takes five shots. When you master this weapon, you'll see why it's one of the best options. Finally, we have the PT-357. One headshot will take down an enemy instantly. For body shots, it takes three shots. From range, it will take about three shots as well. This might be the top sidearm if you can master it. So, in my opinion, the ranking for sidearms is first PT-357, top choice for its one-shot headshot capability. Second M-983, excellent for precise headshots and reliable body shots. Third V-61, Great for quick and close quarters combat. Fourth, G17. Reliable but requires accuracy for headshots. Fifth, TZ34. Effective in close range but less versatile. These are my top picks for sidearms in Ace Force 2. Moving on from sidearms to SMGs. Surprisingly, there are only two SMGs in the game right now. Let's dive in and see how they perform. First up, we have the MP5. This SMG takes three shots to the head and five shots to the body. Aiming for the head is definitely the way to go with this weapon. Next, let's check out the EVO. It's time to compare it with the MP5. The EVO comes with a scope, unlike the MP5, which doesn't have this feature. When it comes to performance, the EVO also takes three shots to the head, but requires seven shots to the body. However, it has a much faster fire rate than the MP5. So to sum it up, the EVO has a super fast firing rate and the advantage of a scope making it my top pick. The MP5, while still a strong choice, comes in second for me due to its slightly slower fire rate and lack of a scope. For my personal ranking, EVO, top choice for its fast fire rate and scope, MP5, reliable but slower and lacks a scope. These are my preferences, but everyone has their own playstyle. Let me know in the comments which SMG you prefer. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We've covered sidearms and SMGs, and now it's time to explore the shotguns and assault rifles in the game. Let's see which ones stand out and why. We have two shotguns, the M870 and the AA-12. Let's start with the M870. The M870 doesn't have a scope, but it's still a solid choice. At close range, it takes one shot to take down an enemy. At medium range, it takes two shots, and at long range, it's less effective, requiring around four shots. Overall, it's a reliable shotgun for close encounters. Next, we have the AA-12. This shotgun is a game changer. It has a higher rate of fire compared to the M870 and performs exceptionally well in close combat. In my opinion, the AA-12 is the best shotgun right now, and I definitely recommend it over the M870. Now, let's move on to the assault rifles. There are four options, X-95, FAL, M-416, an AK-12. First up, we have the X-95. This rifle has a unique feature. When you turn on the scope, it switches to burst mode. It takes two shots to the head and five shots to the body. The burst mode is a cool feature that makes it stand out. Next is the FL. It's a single shot rifle taking one shot to the head and one shot to the body. It's ideal for players who prefer precision and control, especially beginners looking to improve their accuracy. Moving on, we have the M416. This rifle is a bit tougher to master but highly rewarding. It takes two shots to the head and five shots to the body. Its stability and lightweight nature make it a top choice for pro players. Finally, we have the AK-12. This rifle is similar to the Flatline in Apex Legends mobile games. It takes one shot to the head and four shots to the body. The bullet spread requires good aim and minimal movement to hit every shot. Here's my ranking for assault rifles. M416, top choice for its fire rate and overall performance. AK-12, great for players with good aim and control. X95, unique burst mode and reliable performance. FAL, best for beginners and precision players. We've covered sidearms, SMGs, shotguns, and assault rifles. Now let's dive into machine guns and sniper rifles. Plus, we'll briefly touch on shields at the end. We have two machine guns, the MG36 and the saw. Let's see how they perform. First up, the MG36. It takes three shots to the head and five shots to the body. While the MG36 is a solid machine gun, my aim isn't the best on this device, so performance may vary based on your setup. For those with better aim, the MG36 can be quite effective. 
Next, let's look at uh, Akindere, Utusleta Saw. This weapon is familiar to many gamers. It takes two shots to the head and four shots to the body. Compared to the MG36, the saw is superior in terms of damage and overall performance. So for machine gun saw, top choice for its high damage and efficiency, MG36, a solid second choice but less effective than the saw. Now let's move on to the sniper rifles. We have two options, the T5000 and the M82. First, the T5000. This sniper takes one shot to the head and two shots on body to take down an enemy. Its reload speed is quite good, making it a reliable choice for snipers. Next is the M82, often considered the king of all sniper rifles. It has the same look as Kraber and Apex Mobile. It takes one shot to the head and one shot on the body to eliminate an enemy. If you hit the legs, it takes two shots. The M82's only drawback is its slightly longer reload time compared to the T5000. For sniper rifles, one, M82, best overall for its high damage, though it has a longer reload time. Two, T5000, great choice with a faster reload speed. Lastly, let's briefly discuss shields. There are two types, light shields and heavy shields. The light shield absorbs 66% of damage and can take up to 25 damage. It's a good option for quick mobility. The heavy shield also absorbs 66% of damage but can take up to 50 damage. This makes it more durable in prolonged fights. That wraps up our weapons and shield guide for Ace Force 2. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments which weapons you prefer and why.